But today we will be talking about the lactocrine hypothesis. So what is lactocrine hypothesis and how it is important to animal system? So today we'll be talking about it and it is related, it is related to lactation. So we will talk about uh, what is lactocrine hypothesis and how it is important to our animal system. Milk is more than a food for neonates. We know that milk is only food for the neonates, but it's not only the food. Uh, it is not only the food, but also more than a food. It has many components that helps for the growth and development of the newborn. For growth and development, as well as the protection uh, for the infections. So the milk contains many components that help the newborn for survivability in the new environment after birth. When they come out from the uterus, from the uh, womb to the to the earth in a new environment. So, so those, those components which is present in the milk play a very significant role for their survival. So milk definitely it is a very nutrition or very nutritious or very or only the, uh, it is a nutrition to the neonates. And it from the mother, the neonates receive milk, newborn, receives the milk and it contains many uh, molecules or uh, molecules, macromolecules. And those molecules through the milk, the newborn uh, receive those molecules and those molecules milking and uh, uh, the newborn which takes the milk from the mother or the milking stage that is called lactation. So this molecule, these molecules are called milk born bioactive factors. So the milk has many uh, bioactive factors. So those bioactive factors, when the newborn receives it, and it has many more functions, the mechanism is not fully known, but in a, uh, so those milk born bioactive factors, here we call it uh, lactocrine hypothesis. Lactocrine, the milk, uh, born bioactive factors, those play a very significant role, uh, which goes or which uh, via the lactation to the new, newborn animals and they play significant role for the survival and development of some of the important organ of the newborn. So it has many functions, the milk born bioactive factors during their postnatal life. Postnatal life, life means after birth. After birth, uh, this milk born bioactive factors have very significant role. And one of the very important for the pigari or the pig or animal system, it is uterine functionality or capacity. The uterine where the baby, the uterine horn, in case of pig, uterine horn and the uterus, they play a very significant role for the uh, attachment. So this uterine functionality and capacity, it is it starts from the newborn. So when the new piglet after birth, the piglet, the small one is called piglet. So this piglet, when they get sufficient amount of colostrum, colostrum is the first uh, secretion of the mammary gland. The first stage of the lactation, it is colostrum. If the uh, newborn takes sufficient amount of colostrum, the newborn as they grow and they, in the future, when they become adult and they start give, they, they start getting pregnant and giving birth to the newborn. So their uterus become uh, good or the uterine function and capacity improves if those animals during their uh, small uh, newborn time, if they are given sufficient amount of colostrum. So the sufficient, uh, giving sufficient amount of colostrum or the taking sufficient amount of colostrum by the piglet it has a very good consequences in future and it is very benefit benefit for the farmers. So the milk born bioactive factors, the immunoglobulins, the, these are the passive immunity from mother, it comes to the newborn, they provide the immunity to the newborn 
and the, the those immunoglobulins and colostrum or the milk it has also many uh, hormones or growth factors steroid they also help in the development of the reproductive tract and in case of male also it has some significant role it has been seen that some of the hormones right, like relaxin present in the milk and during the newborn if they take sufficient amount of colostrum or the milk the sartori cell number also improves when it is compared to the piglet which are deprived of colostrum so sartori cell it is very significant because sartori cell numbers indicates the daily sperm production and daily sperm production is very important for the animal system and also it has been seen that insufficient uh, taking of uh, colostrum it affects the mammotrophs uh, the cells in the pituitary which produce the lacto which produce the prolactin those cells also affected if they are deprived of colostrum and uh, if the animal is deprived of colostrum it means they are lack of a uh, milk born bioactive factors they also uh, affect the newborn organ development if the uh, piglet what uh, if if some group of piglet given the uh, natural or, or the nursing by the mother they are allowed to take or take the milk or nurse by the mother and another group of piglet if you give the milk replacer replacer commercially available milk replacer then their development and the functionality and the future uh, productivity are very significant so because of that result it has been concluded that the milk bond bioactive factors which is present in the milk has very significant role for the development of the piglet and also future conse consequences so also maternal through the milk uh, there are many somatic cells the from the mother it comes in the milk and the newborn takes those somatic cells and it has been thought that this somatic cell pass through the neonate gut and they fuse with the neonatal cell and helps in the uh, development or the immunity or other functions Th those are the functions are not purely known and sustainability sustainability i means if the mother giving the uh, here i am giving the example of the pig uh, because many of the studies has done in the pig so if the uh, pig the sow it has given the 14 piglet and if all those piglets are given proper colostrum then it can be expected that in their uh, adulthood those piglets also give a similar number of productivity or a similar number of piglet in their uh, 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 reproductive maturity time so that is very important for the farmers if they are rearing the piglet expecting that those uh, piglet when they grow and there those piglet when they become adult they should give the good numbers of piglet or the litter size the litter size have to be good then only the uh, uh, economic return or the benefit for the farmers so all this mechanism how it affects the electrokine so many of the mechanisms are not known so here we will take one example uh, which uh, and giving uh, which is uh, as an example of a lactoprime hypothesis or lactoprime actifactor. So relaxin, it is present in the milk, detected in the milk. And also when the newborn piglet that takes the milk and it has also detected, bioactive relaxin detected in the peripheral circulation of the uh, newborn piglet. And this relaxin in the peri uh, uh, newborn piglet and the, the receptors of the relaxin in the uterus, newborn uterus, and the cervix also seen. So, because receptor and the relaxin, relaxin receptor in the uterus, they are present in the uterus and the cervix. So, it is uh, thought that the relaxin present in the milk, it goes in the circulation of the newborn and uh, stimulate some uh, act upon the tissue of the uterus and cervix and helps the reproductive track development of the piglet. It is a start from the very small age. And it also uh, relaxing, along with the relaxing, many of the growth factors are also present in the milk. 
and those factor also goes in the circulation and act upon the development of some of the organs in the newborn piglet and here it is very important because reproductive development of the piglet is very important for the fecundity means number of piglet per uh, liter so when this piglet grow up in the adulthood and they become productive animal so when the when their nourishment or nursing if they are done when their nursing are done properly during their small time or the during their newborn time then we can expect those piglet may give the good productivity in the future so here we have to keep in mind that just after birth the piglet gut permeability it remain up to 48 hours because the colostrum have many a uh, large molecule it has very high concentration of protein a uh, high concentration of immunoglobulins and many growth hormones and other horm hormones and those those uh, factors or those uh, proteins have to be absorbed by the gut of the neonate so the gut is permeable for the large molecule up to 48 hours so colostrum feeding during this uh, this during this time is very very important also it has been seen that if we delay the colostrum feeding then it affects some of the cells so as soon as the piglet born the piglet have to allow for taking the uh, milk from the mother or the colostrum or if the if the piglet cannot able to search the teeth so the human assistance is necessary during this time as soon as possible to give the availability of the colostrum to the piglet and here also we have to remember the quantity and the uh, quality of the colostrum by the mother so sometimes the mother due to some disease condition or gastritis the mother may not able to give the a uh, proper uh, secretion or proper uh, colostrum that have to be keep in mind so that will affect the piglet growth in future uh, time and it affect the farmer's productivity so the first secretion of mammary gland after birth is called colostrum and it has uh, macromolecules and it contain many immunoglobulins antibacterial compounds protein fat and other bioactive compounds so the milk born uh, bioactive factors i have given here one example relaxin because many studies has done on relaxin and relaxin they can directly act upon the uterus or the cervix and it has or it can also act through the other agents other molecule like estrogen so uh, many of the fu functions are not known but it has been said that the milk bond bioactive factors can directly act upon the organ of the newborn or they can act through other molecules also so deficiency of the milk bond bioactive factors may increase the adiposity or alter the hypothalamic gene expression also it has been seen that uterus uh, transcriptom or the gene expression of the uterus when it is compared to the natural nursing piglet and the milk repressor uh, piglet the gene expression uh, the uh, the gene expression it is different so it is clearly has seen that natural nourishment from the mother or the feeding of colostrum have many beneficial effect upon the reproductive tract of the piglet so milk uh, milk has many component it also contain small non coding micro rna and this micro rna have role in the neonatal immune system and it also contain the maternal somatic uh, cell it cross the neonatal uh, intestine and it can colonize in the uh, neonatal tissue and uh, and micro chimerism and it affect the postnatal development and it also contain the insulin like growth factor it also affect the postnatal development and along with that many factors present in the milk like growth factor steroid peptide hormone leptin ghrelin adiponectin glucocorticoids it also affect the uh, postnatal or influence the postnatal development so the colostrum or the considering factors but these all factors uh, we have to consider but without compromising the genetic selection so genetic selection have the potentiality for the good productivity but along with that 
feeding of colostrum also play a very significant role because it affect the reproductive system as well as immunity and other organ development also to maintain the genetic selection the same ratio to maintain their productivity from their progenies so feeding of sufficient colostrum is very very important then quantity and the quality of the colostrum is necessary to analyze so report of mastitis by the uh, uh, report of mastitis in the sow or the lack of colostrum in the sow in the previous record that has to be considered when we come into selection of the breed then uh, conclusion the scientific knowledge of non genetic factors also necessary for the farmers for the good benefit and the colostrum feeding is one of the factors negligence or delayed feeding of colostrum resulted in future consequences thank you